cut that off a little bit earlier, but then we can actually have a look at what's going on. So, the attackers are slabs. They've got four moles, a long sword, four short swords, two glaives. Interesting. Uh, a, a pole axe, a musket, and two pikes. The defenders are rows. They've got two moles, four short swords, three pole axes, two muskets, short bow, and three pikes. And they have all cavalry, so Rose is going to sally out. And the attackers have only got two pikes. Basically, they've got Modau and Fort... No, they've got two sets of Modau and they've got one Fort Brachio. And one of the Fort Brachios has just been swapped for Surfs or Woodcutters or something. So, uh, they've got one cavalry up there. They've got one Modau. No, two Modau, Vanblade and uh, Booterus. So, this is going to get straight off the bat. It's going to be going to be... Kicking off. They're all going small gate as well, so I'm going to try getting into a position as quick as I can so we can cover this. Um, if I'm, I hope the game doesn't just fucking throw me off the map like it sometimes does when I when I push, go into the bird's eye view. We'll see. But Rose going with the Sally out. They've got loads of stuff as well. They've got a lot of Armigers. They've got Keshig. They've got some Outriders in there. Um, they've got two units of Palbidia Sergeants. I assume they're going to be covering the gate so that they can't just charge through. We'll see. We'll see. See what setup they've got, and we'll see how quick. Um, Slabs can react to the Sally out and see if they can get their pikes out in time, otherwise they're going to lose all the stuff. So. Oh, I was lucky. It didn't uh, absolutely nuke me into the oblivion. So we got Surrey Coon over here. It looks like he's got Cav. Yes, he has Cataphracts. And here come, here come Rose's Cavalry. First Treb's coming in. Surrey Coon's going to be the guy to see these first. I don't know if he's noticed them yet, though. They've got Halberdier Sergeants. They've got Fort Abrachio. Um, they've got two Modau, three Modau. Still not enough pikes to deal with this amount of cav, though. And if they get the back resupply, technically Rose could just get infantry out as well. They've got a couple of guys climbing the ladders. They were probably going to look if they can get a cheeky cap off, but with the two Halberdier Sergeants up next to the gate, that's going to be difficult. So Surrey Coon's cataphracts have just been shredded. He's probably going to die in, a, in short order. Um, we've got Negative PB and Shizzy just stopping the towers, basically getting rid of the peasants. Rizlan's doing the middle tower. The left hand tower's been stopped already. So Rez has just spawned with Keshigs. He's moved them out of the way so they can't get into the cav charge. The problem. I said that Modal have got like 360 degrees defense, but the Fort Abrachio and the Halberdier Sergeant. I said that Halberdier Sergeant is hitting in every direction as well. The so Rose is doing work so far. They've got rid of 150 units. Obviously, most of those are trash. One unit of cataphracts, though, is always good. Yeah. It's like, what do you do now for. Um... Yeah. They're getting better, like, anti-cab units in now, but what they have to be careful is, is, like, they're getting caught out in, like, groups of two and three. And because it's obviously basically a field battle now, um, Rose can just basically hit them from every direction they want to and not have to worry about it. Rose have even swapped out some infantry as well, haven't they? Or is that... Oh, no, I'll shut up. That was a uh, blue model. But a lot of the red players now, at least these, the are getting caught out a little bit. We've got a rotation from Shakuzo negative pit. I think these guys are pulling back, you know. Yeah. Still got these rows here, Rose here doing work though, man. You got Khan just basically just dodging out the way. Going, no, 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 you can't catch this. <laughs> Oh, did you see that in the chat? I don't know about when I was writing, oh, this is my no-no square, you can't come and get me. And Papa Bear in the chat has got a small peepee. -pee. Have you never seen that from, um, I think it's... What's his name now? It's, uh, I think it's like an Australian streamer or YouTuber, Mully. And they did like a song like, No, no, don't touch me there. That is my no-no square. <laughs> it looks like the Sally out... It looks like they're just coming straight back out again. They've just opened up the gates so they can keep getting more units out. I don't know if they need more infantry, though, to actually deal with the infantry of uh, slabs. But they still haven't got a single tower up. They've obviously got Modal pushing this far one. They've got Modal pushing the middle one so they can just basically brace as soon as they start getting hit by cavalry like that look. 
they got heroes as well, trying to slow them down. Units wise, 343 lost for slabs and 190 basically for Rose, but obviously Rose is all cavalry. A lot of leadership has been has been lost if you like, and there's a lot of peasants only really been lost for slabs. Obviously a few good units as well, but I'd say that the leadership cost was worse for Rose. Yeah. I haven't got any of the towers in. Um, Rose probably aren't going to defend A. Only four trebs have gone down so far. You know, I reckon they're going to do like a, if you like a more standard setup, like what normally happens, like majority of the guys down here. They have a couple of guys at the little gate. The little gate is still wide open, so they haven't re they haven't closed it. So if uh, Slavs do the, the strat where they just basically suicide as heroes to respawn at the side gate, um, we'll see. The Rose has given up A. Slavs are going to send two or three guys to go and cap it. And then we'll see if they push down the stairs or how they're going to deal with it. And Flamer Boys and Falconettes have been banned. So we'll see how they set up, man. Yeah, a lot of shin. They can throw over walls and stuff as well, can't they? So Slavs have got Zakalian up as well. They've got Shenjins. They've got Iron Reapers, Palace Guards, Grey Hair Garrison, uh, Unit Fort Brachio. The Defenders have got three Outriders. I don't know if that's going to bite them in the arse. If, uh, if Slavs basically force a big engagement, the Outriders aren't going to be able to get the damage off that they need. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Depends how aggressive the Slavs are going to go here. Uh, but the defenders have got quite a few shenjins as well. They've also got Iron Reaper's Axe Raiders to get rid of any specialist units like the Zakalian, maybe. Uh, Cataphracts, well. That's almost split. Nobody's gone side gate. I'm just going to double check that it's still open. Side gate is still open. They just try to bomb down. You got Berserker and a few of the other heroes here just putting on pressure as much as they can. Like Monteki and them. I think they're the ones with the uh, Outriders, maybe. Oh, I should. <laughs> so, Hawks. Just going to poke his head outside. Okay. Labs are going to push gate. Like main gate. So they don't have to come down the stairs. Or how are they going to do with this? They've got Cataphracts and they've got Keshigs and three sets of Outriders from the Defender. They've got 10 minutes though, so they've got not like a massive amount of time. Obviously pushing through there, like one bomb stops, slows everyone down. They're going to go side gate. I don't know if they're going to do that quick enough though. Rose has seen it as well. Look, they're already going. Oh, they've closed the gate, though. Look, and one of the heroes from Slaps is going to get ruined. There's no way he's going to get away from that. A rose actually going to over... Like, they shouldn't send too much to get him, though. Now they've left him. Right, cool. So, Slabs are obviously there with their heroes, but infantry moves slow. Cataphracts going to get straight through the gate. Unit of the Defenders got... Palace Guards are going to be the first units there. They've got some cav in the background, but it's Outriders. Slabs have actually got through fairly quick there. I thought that rotation would have been too slow, but they've actually done fairly well. Rose have got a, a good chunk here, though, to stop them. The mole that was in the background has actually got through, and he's going to try doing his sneak cap look. Deja Vu's got through as well to just stop people getting units. Uh, Wix Fairy's actually going to get a couple of seconds of um, cap off as well. Engagement's going down, though. Slavs didn't quite get everything through that they wanted. There's the Kaelian Militia throws going off. you got... Sh Good blob of Shenjins here, throwing bombs in as well. There are a few of the Slav heroes going for the Shenjins, though. I think they managed to get rid of quite a lot of them, to be fair. So you got Deja Vu. He must be using Cataphracts with a 2 ability on. Yeah, he'd run through loads of shit. So Deja Vu's on the point. They did get a couple of seconds of cap off, but not really much. And the, the defenders have got too much units up there. Um, Slavs, though, are winning this engagement. 
So both have lost roughly the same amount of heroes, to be fair. The difference is Slabs have got Treb Trebs to throw down. They're putting on pressure, man. They're putting on pressure. Bondit's going to try a flank here. Look, I think he's probably using Keshigs. He is using Keshigs. Um, if Slabs don't see it, he could be in trouble. Oh, if Slabs don't see it, Slabs will be in trouble. <laughs> that Treb isn't the best, I don't think. It's, it's probably just going to zone out the Outriders, but it's not actually going to do anything to them. Checking this right hand side quick. So you got Shankuzu who's trying to... Well, he's not trying, he's keeping that side safe. Slabs have got a massive advantage now, though. 15 to 9 heroes. If they can start blocking off the spawn here, push up here and block off this spawn, they can just put pressure on the point like what We Are Clowns did. And then they're laughing. A bomb that's in the back here tried getting in with his Keshigs, but it looks like they got completely cock blocked. Yeah. You know, everyone knows what I mean when I say that. My channel is not for ch children anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> Hmm. Unit wise as well, it's still fairly even. Um Slabs have got the advantage though. Like just pure unit numbers, they've got the advantage. Uh death wise, they've lost a hundred more, but like Rose had a lot more cavalry. So Rose have definitely lost more leadership. The bond that just got killed and caught out somewhere. Looks like Sylphine is gonna get caught and killed there as well. Maybe Foyer. Looks like Foyer's pulled back though. Um Slav. Yeah. Best of it. Yeah, so we've got negative PB in the back. He's just coming with cavalry now. He recapped the, the back cap point with... I can't even say that name. Yeah. I reckon what they're maybe going to try and do is, is engage the, the the cap point side and then treb here when they push in. Yeah, there's the palace guards. Yeah, there's, there's, the, there's the, the treb. I think negative and Co uh, Cobra should go this way though and come from behind. Is, they've got nothing covering. They could get straight into those uh, muskets. It's too late now, though. They've been stopped. But Slavs are the guys dropping heroes now, to be fair. The unit advantage has actually gone the other way as well. So Rose has recovered fairly goddamn well, and they are absolutely cleaning up. But Rose just dropped five heroes as well. Slavs are on eight. They've still got the, the, the closer uh, resupply point, though. But Rose are not taking off the pressure, and they're getting rid of as many heroes as possible. That Treb's going to do work, though. Good Treb. Very good Treb. That hit a lot of units. Got four guys on this resupply. Res and Deja Vu are pulling back, probably, to get the other resupply, so they can get cavalry out. Rose have got more guys in the fight. They've just got three guys spawning as well. They're maybe actually going to try and take this resupply off the... Slabs now, but Slabs have still got five Trebs, so if they do, this is all Trebable, this is it. This area. They've got five minutes, though. They've got units, really, for one good push, and they've probably got time for one more push as well by the time they actually run in. They're all coming side gate, so they're all coming back to this resupply. But Rose are just filtering through the back way here to get as much stuff onto the point as possible. They've just got heroes here basically just bombing with their muskets. Four muskets in a short bow, just constantly doing range damage. Points completely safe. Although there's one hero back here. The raccoons just come over the wall, but it looks like he's got a peasant unit. Wrong side. The raccoon. I didn't have a unit, alright. You got some guys from Slavs rotating mid. They're going to come through the eastern side and try putting pressure on the main point that way. Uh, they've still got a wedge on the resupply. I don't know why Sylphina went in there. The Is that just to try and get the, the Outriders to do some damage? Well, that seemed a waste. Rose are down a player now. The end push, if you like. We've obviously got three heroes already over here, but by the time their units rotate, Rose are going to be nipping up them. They basically had all their units here anyway. They just had heroes there. Nah, I think, I think they're going to go to this side. I think they're just trebbing here to slow these guys from rotating, possibly. Yeah, the majority of it's going this side, I think. Yeah. Got a good five, six guys coming from the, the, the eastern side. The rest is coming up the middle, so they're going to try blocking resupply. These guys are going to put pressure on the main blob. They're 
probably going to hope that they can force them out of behind the Trebs uh, safety here. Yeah, if they're through here. They're suddenly... Well, there's a couple of units to cap, but it's basically Metellatory, so that's not going to happen here. IPG walks into each other. This is the main fight here. They've got Javelins in the back. They've got Shenjins. This fight's gone Slab's way, though. Slab's got rid of this. So just getting the, the, the Metellatory in there was enough to actually kill this blob. Hero-wise, it's very even. This back lot of slabs are going to push in now. Rose won, if you like, the Eastern fight. So it's still very even. I think Rose are going to win, though, because they're not going to have the killing power to get through. They only have to hold three minutes. Slabs are down five heroes. Three, four now for Rose. But Rose just need to basically stay alive on the end point now. And I don't think slabs have got the units to do any killing, really. Boy's just got rid of the last muskets here, or he's doing it as we speak. There's fought a Brachio on the point, but they're slowly dying as well. Got some Grey Air Garrison, they're just going to try and like block off one of the entrances here. Some Outriders from Rose putting on some pressure. Nah, they're not going to be able to do it, man. Too much stuff. Yeah, they're clearing out the heroes now as we speak as well. These Forsh engines aren't going to really do much. Them Outriders will just flatten them in a sec. I think that's GG, man. Treb's going to do some work. But that was a good fight, man. Units are still fairly even. Let's have a quick look at hero deaths before they start just clearing them off constantly. Slavs have got multiple on three deaths, a couple on four. And Rose. Rose are definitely better on hero deaths. It's actually pretty close, though. If we're being fair, 35 to 34. It's very. Actually, Rose have had more hero deaths. Interesting. But they've won the unit fights, looking at it. And I just don't think Slavs have got the, the killing power to get rid of the heroes that are here. They only have to survive a minute. They've got all heavy classes bar Shankuza as well on the point. It's going to be rough, man. What's that? Modown? Modown um, a couple of Shenjins. They, they don't have the time to do the damage, though. Not in a million years. Ooh, they're actually clearing it though. What? How much time do you need to, to cap the point? It's like 20 seconds, isn't it? The Fort Brachios are doing work though. Madawa are doing work. There's 10 heroes from Rose up though. So they're going to... Yeah, they're filtering. Look, they're just running in. It's going to be a diff difficult ask. Short Sword's gone down. The sh Short Bow's just been carried away by the mall. They've just got in Rizlan and Foyer though, both short swords. Berserker modes there as a heavy class as well. Manteki's running around on his horse. Um, we've got another musket. I don't think they got the killing power though. That went closer than I thought though. I thought it was over. Well, I thought Rose had it easier, but Slav's actually cleared up really goddamn well there. It might even... Nah, 10 seconds isn't enough, I don't think. Nah. Very, very close game though. GG Slav's man. Very good pushes. Rose as well with the, the Sally Out. They actually, I don't know if the Sally Out was that good because they definitely lost more leadership than than Slavs did in the Sally Out. They obviously got more units killed, but I'm pretty sure the, the, the leadership that was lost was more for Rose. They obviously slowed them down, but I don't know if they would, they, they're would they going to regret doing that now. But that was a very close. Do you reckon Slavs would have won the pushes anyway? Oh, not all, they didn't win all of the pushes though, to be fair. The first one that they went, they did when they come into the city, they they did really well and got to the resupply. And then I think they lost the second one when they tried pushing up through the middle point here. If you zoom in where you said they're going to get pinched on both sides. They got definitely got beaten there. Um, but yeah, Slavs actually won, when you think of it, the majority of the actual engagement. Apart from the first one, you could say that Rose did. But like again, they lost more leadership out here. GG both teams. GG both teams. That was actually really close. So MVP for Rose was Ajax. Kankuzu doing work as well. Khan third, Monteki fourth. Berserker mode in fifth. And then for... How the hell do you say that? <laughs> for Slav's Tappy Sopoff. <laughs> what 
is that for a name? 10-1-15, though, for heroes. That is savage, man. Galahad, RGI Galahad in second. Juggerson in third. Poutina. <laughs> Scarless. GG both teams, man. That was brutal. That literally went down to the wire. Rose hits it, though. 